if you have ever wondered which functional programming language is better than others, which one to pick or which to learn, here's my subjective tier list. And note that I'm a bit biased towards statically typed languages, and if you haven't seen one of these before, we go from D, bad or terrible, to S, the best or excellent. Let's start with Haskell. If you can only take one functional language to the desert island, you should take Haskell because it offers so much. Sure, it's not for everyone, it has a steep learning curve and can feel like throwing someone into the water to teach them how to swim, but it can be well worth it. Take for instance laziness, a major reason to use Haskell, also a major source of frustration. On top of that, Haskell provides great concurrency mechanisms and powerful type-level machinery with great type inference. Yeah, you might think it's not too exciting, because all of this has been there and stable for more than 20 years. Nevertheless, Haskell keeps growing, there is always more stuff to learn and experiment with. Seems fair that Haskell is an S-tier FP language. Scala, on the other hand, offers a gentler learning curve, and you can dial up the functional programming at your own pace. You cannot go as far as Haskell, in quotes, but you can go pretty far. I have a special place for Scala in my heart. I think Scala is an ideal functional programming language for Java developers and has an excellent free course for functional programming beginners. Without doing any research, I'm pretty sure Scala is the most used functional programming language in production, so Scala also deserves an S tier. OCaml is another language that offers OOP FP flexibility. OCaml 5 was a strong release which not only brought multi-core but also a lot of attention to the language. Often when people talk about a camel, they talk about a powerful module system, performance, and strong developer productivity, like reversible debugger. But I cannot speak on that, because I have not used it in proper projects. However, I can talk about my favorite features, like polymorphic variants and effect handlers. Polymorphic variants is my current preferred way of dealing with errors, and effect handler seems to me like a future of the control flow. We'll see, but those two features is something I wish every language had, or will have. Overall, I don't have much experience with a camel, but S tier feels fair. Going back to a language that I used, PureScript. I think it's highly underrated. How do I put it? It's like a tidier version of Haskell, and in my opinion, it's easier to learn and get into. It has a solid FFI or interop with JavaScript world, so you can slowly introduce it to your project and at the same time have access to the sea of JavaScript libraries. On top of that, PureScript offers great records and raw polymorphism, I know I keep bringing this up every time, but anytime I have to manipulate some data, especially JSON, I miss not using PureScript. So PureScript unquestionably an S tier. Elm is a sibling of PureScript, and it's even more focused. It's focused in a way that the features it provides are focused and focused on beginner friendliness. <laughs> I bring this up in my video on values. It's not for everyone, but it has a solid niche. Elm is another great way to tap into functional programming from the front-end direction, and because it has clear values and focus, it's a solid S tier. And if I understand this correctly, Rock is bringing Elm's values and mindset to the backend, or at least extending on those. It has an attractive approach to balancing or navigating between prototyping and reliability. They promise a nice flexibility of dynamically typed languages with a seamless switch to the other mode where you can actually handle both happy and error paths. I don't have time to get into this, but if this sounds vague and exciting, I'd recommend looking into it. For example, you can start by watching a full talk on this topic or actually try Rock yourself. On top of that, I think their anonymous sound types look fun, together with all the open and closed records and unions, and I'm also curious where the ideas around different platforms are going to lead. Rock doesn't have a stable release yet, but I'd say it's an upcoming S tier. Unison is another new kid in town, and I think Unison can compete with Haskell on amount of mind-breaking concepts. I, I don't even know where to begin, so here's two of my favorites. Everything is a function, so deployment is done with a function call, calling another service is done with a function call, and accessing storage is a function call. And second one is abilities. The Unison is an implementation of direct style algebraic effects, similar to a camel's effect handlers we mentioned a while back. Those are pretty good. But did I mention that Unison promises to eliminate YAML? S tier. Gleam had a version 1 release a couple of months ago. Long story short, it's a friendly language on top of Erlang runtime. It's a simple selling pitch, but quite a strong one. And they have as a sweetest mascot, so what other reasons do you need? S tier. And once again, speaking of interop, 
F# -sharp might be an obvious functional programming choice for those on the .NET. Either you're already using C# -sharp or want to make games using popular engines. And I keep seeing people bringing up F# -sharp for fun and profit, and it looks pretty fun. I haven't touched F# -sharp, so I'm a bit biased. I'd give it an S tier. So yeah, as you might have guessed, I'm pretty excited about functional programming. There are a lot of options targeting different platforms, audiences, and values. So just pick your poison.